Hi Shrey, how are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing good too. Welcome to Future in Spotlight Special Edition. We're so happy to have you here. Same here. I actually, I've been, been great to be back at Futurance and I'm loving Futurance back again. Did you meet your batchmates? How was that? Yes, I did meet my batchmates. Either they are same as before, just they are earning a lot more now. And they are same as me, so it's been like a competition sense of, but it's been great. We're so glad to have you here at this reunion. I mean, it's just made it better for both us and you. So I won't take too much of your time. I just want to ask you a couple of questions to understand a little bit more about your experience at Futurists. So are you ready? I'm totally ready. Go, go for okay, it. Okay, awesome. Done. So your first question, what were you doing before you found Futurins? So that's a long story. So I'm a mechanical engineer by degree, a marketing guy by, uh, I'll say, by studies and all stuff. And then I joined Futurins as a data engineer. Do you think you made the right decision? Complete right decision for me. And that was the something that I, I should say that it was the best decision of my life. I'm sure you would have had other options as well, right? What made you choose Futurins? So the only com the company that this was offering every single thing to you, uh, accommodation to stay, uh, food and all stuff. And the best part of they were offering just for to study and upskill ourselves. Is how do you think your time during the training period here at Futurins has helped you in terms of upskilling yourself? Right now, if you give me an interview, interview right now, and I'm pretty sure that I'll at least clear two rounds of that because that future has done to me. Now on a personal level, I just want to understand how did Futurins help you grow uh, in terms of your soft skills, in terms of your personality development? So at Futurins, we always have this one particular skill set that they always allow us to be in cohort. They don't call it a group, they call it a cohort. So that team building essence comes into play because in real time, you have to work with a lot of, lot of team. When it comes to data now, you have to be very precise over what you talk about. Because if you see something here and there in front of, uh, for example, stakeholders, so they might catch you because they are like they are CEOs of the big companies. So you have to be very precise and clear about what you're talking to and whom you're talking to. So that's what Futurins gave me, I'll say. Can you tell us a little bit about your time at Futurins and how this has made a difference in terms of your earning potential specifically? After that, I joined a company that was in solar domain. So it was offering me 3.5 lakh per annum. But right now I'm earning a lot more than that. I, w I won't quote an exact amount, right. but it's, it's a lot. It's a, on paper, it's 400% hike. Oh my God. So it's, it's pretty good, I'll say. So right now I can say that I am earning pretty good. And um, so it's all worth it in the end. It's, a, it's not worth it. It's best, I'll say. So it was, it was completely a penny worth and I invested a lot of time and most more of Futurins invested a lot in us. And on a scale of one to five, if you were to recommend Futurins to someone, what would it be? Five, I'll say. Five on five? Yeah, five on five because there's nothing to complain about. Thank you so much for your precious time, Shrey. And as the talent ambassador of the godfather of talent, we continue to wish you luck and hope that you continue to kill it in whatever you do. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot.